Today, I'm gonna to do a real life review on this image and video transmitter. It's a wireless one, plus you're gonna get the chance to win one. Let's cue that intro. Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. The other day, I did an unboxing and overview of this little beauty. It's a wireless image transmitter, as I said earlier. Um, the link to it is up there because there's also a chance to win one in that. There are actually two of these to win if you're interested. So if you wanna get your hands on one and double your chances of winning, then hop over and watch the video because it'll explain to you how you can win that one in the video. So as with most things that I review, I don't just get it out of the box and give it a review and give my initial thoughts on it. I get out in the field and give it a good going over and then that way I can give you a real life test and review of it. And you then can make up your own mind whether or not it's worthwhile buying, worthwhhile, worthwhile even buying. However, one thing I will say is I've been pretty impressed with this in the short time I've been using it. The beauty of this wireless video and image transmitter is the fact that it transmits directly to your phone and it claims on the box to be able to transmit up to 100 meters. Now that saves you having to have another monitor with you. You can just go out with your camera with this and have your phone. And spoiler alert, if you don't wanna watch the rest of the video, I can tell you now, it's well worth the money. It's reasonably priced. Just stop it now, hit the link down below and go and buy one. And like I said, I've only used it for a short period of time. However, the app itself is awesome. It's loads better than other ones I've tried. I mean, I've tried the ones from Zion, I've tried a couple of other um, cheaper makes as well. And this one seems to be really user-friendly and works straight away. It makes the footprint really tiny. So without any further ado, let's get on the field. Yeah, I did say the field and don't worry, I will be social distancing because my wife owns horses and we've got fields. So why not go out there and give us a good old blast? <laughs> One reason for coming out here in the field to give it a go or a test, and this is why. You all got to agree, I can socially distance up here. And also, I'm not gonna get interrupted by anybody. So whenever I've got gear to test, that's why I tend to bring it up here so we can give it a good old blast. The other thing is there's probably no other Wi-Fi signals up here. So we'll be able to test the um, distances on this Benbox or Inky Benbox um, image transmitter really, really well. But the sun's out and it's a bit windy. So I better change and put the old ND filters on. See you in a sec. So hopefully you can see up behind me over there, the top corner of the field is approximately 100 metres away. So what I've done is I've set the car up here and we've got the camera there with the image transmitter on it. And what we'll do is I'll take the phone with me. I'll take this with me as well in case it fails. Um, and then we'll walk up to the end and we'll test it. But don't worry, you're not going to have to wait and see me go the whole 100 metres. I'll speed it up in between. Let's give it a good old go. So we've got it set up on here. All you need to do to switch it on is press that once, the blue lights come on and then press and hold it and you can see everything fires up. So it switches on really, really quickly. Now, the problem with phones out in the sunlight, as you all probably know, is the fact that you get the old reflection on it. So we'll see if we can see this on here, but I've also set the um, screen recorder just in case it doesn't work. So the first thing you need to do is make sure it's actually connected on the Wi-Fi there to the Benbox 610200, mine's called. And the password to start off with is really easy, 123456678. So that's all connected up. And then what we will do is go back to the front screen and find the app itself. Now the app itself is pretty good looking, I think. Now that's it, already fired up. And all you have to do, you can see there the, um, f-stop and the iso and everything else has come through um and you can probably tell i've got an f20 so there's no other no, i can't go any further with that one and then you press play and i believe you'll see the image come up that quickly 
Now, obviously, it's flickering away there. We've got the recorder on, hopefully, and um, we'll carry that one up with us, take the old DOSRP with us on the old switchboard and see how we go. So let's go on with it. Tell you what, though, it's bloody windy even though the sun's out. Right, so each of these posts are about two and a half metres into each one. So as I pass 10 of them, we're at 25 metres. Now, that wasn't supposed to happen, was it? And I've mucked the air up. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, tighten that one up because it's gone a bit loose. Right, so we are now approaching already just over, what? About 35 metres, I think. So, we'll see if it's all working all right. Yep, that's all working fine. I don't think you see that one up there. Right. Got a lovely wingspan on him. Wish I had a different telephoto lens with me. Now I may sound out of breath. And I'm getting old a bit, but this is bloody long grass. It still seems to be working. We've passed over 50 meters now. that bird's gonna get me. Tell you what though, this COVID-19 is doing my hair no favours, is it? Can't wait to get a haircut. Right, we're at the big post now. I don't know if you can see it, I don't know if you can see me. Problem is, the old trees behind us. Yeah, the problem is with the trees behind us, probably can't. Anyway, let's head on back. I'll speed this bit up as well. So there you go. I think that was a pretty good test. Um, it did lag a little bit when it got past the 50 meter mark and it did feel like it dropped off. However, when I turned around, it reconnected. I reckon I got to probably 90 meters before it actually disconnected altogether. Um, again, it's probably down to your phone's um, capability as well. So if you've got a brand new phone, it may even go that 100 meters. But to be honest with you, I think it was pretty good. And who's gonna leave the camera 100 meters away anyway? The fact that it works really well around the car itself is absolutely fantastic. And like I said, it saves you buying another monitor. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. So now I've been out and about with it, I've got back in the studio and I've had a good look at it. It's been a week or so since I last did that, but to be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed with it. To get 100 meters and still keep connection, pretty damn good. However, you probably won't be using it that sort of distance, will you? You'll probably have it around 30 meters and so on and so forth. So what I've done is gone around the house a bit and tried it with things like doors shut and all of that side. And it seems to work okay if it's in close proximity. So if you want that sort of thing and you want to go 100 meters, you know it'll work, but I would make sure that you've got Clear line of sight of it. So how can you win one of these? Simply put, there's two chances to win one. I've already done a video, as you know, the unboxing and initial thoughts on that, and there's a link to that up there. Um, and there you'll find the first chance to win it. You have to do an unboxing challenge for that. But this one is pretty damn simple. All I need you to do is leave a comment down below and tell me why you need it. Not just, I wanna win this, or please give it to me. Tell me why, and then I'll pick somebody who really deserves it. So other than the fact that it transmits 100 meters, loads of other features on it. So let's have a closer look at those. So the video transmitter itself can transmit to three different devices at any one time. But it can also transmit to iPhones, Android, Windows, and iMacs. The video transmitter itself is quite light. It's only 125 grams. It's got built-in batteries and antennas, and it's got a battery life of around about three and a half hours. Really easy to fit, all you do is slide it on the top here or onto your rig if you've got one, tighten it up and then remembering of course you will need a HDMI cable. It doesn't come one in the box um, but you can easily get these on Amazon. 
that slots in there nicely just like that and the supplied cables which actually come with it go into there this is so that you can control your camera through the app the app itself is really easy to use okay all you need to do is make sure you download it from Inky itself um, and then you'll have it set up for either your Android, your iPhone, your laptop or your tablet or iMac. Turn the Ben box on, all you need to do is press the on off button once, see the lights come up and then press and hold it until all four lights come on and that's it, fired up straight away. The app itself is really easy to open up. Click on here, it fires up straight away. As you can see, all the readings are coming through. And then you press play, and hopefully, it should fire up straight away. And the extra added features you've got on here is histogram, zebras, black and white, you've got grids, and you've also got LUTs that you can load. I haven't loaded any in yet, but I'm sure that's easy enough to do. So if you've got any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. It might take me 24 hours, but I promise you I will reply. And if you're interested in any future giveaways, or if you just like the channel anyway, why don't you hit that subscribe button and make sure you click on the bell so you don't miss anything. So all in all, it's a pretty sweet piece of kit. In fact, you might even say it's tickety-boo. Now, if you aren't one of the lucky ones to win it, the um, kit itself, it only costs about 110 quid or $110. There'll be a link down below for where you to buy that. Um, and to be honest, at that price, it's pretty awesome. So thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful, everyone. And remember, stay safe, having fun making stuff. Keep smiling. Cheers and gone.